Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering what is Seaborn, and then I will explain how to read data sets using Seaborn, and also I will explain how to draw strip plot, scatter plot, count to plot, and distribute plot using Seaborn. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I'll provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Seaborn is a Python data visualization library based on Matplotlib. It provides a high-level interface for drawing attractive and informative statistical graphics. Guys, same like Matplotlib, this Seaborn is also a data visualization library. Data visualization is nothing but representing data in the form of graphs and charts is known as data visualization. So this Seaborn is a data visualization library. When compared to Matplotlib, this Seaborn is a little bit advanced library. If you want to install Seaborn in your system, you can use this command pip install Seaborn. Seaborn is often used along with Matplotlib because Seaborn is a high level data visualization library built on top of Matplotlib. Guys, we can use Seaborn along with Matplotlib library. That is nothing but in your program, you need to import both Matplotlib library and as well as Seaborn library. And then you can perform data visualization. The Seaborn was developed by Michael Wascom. And this library was initially released in 2012. And this Seaborn gained popularity because by using Seaborn, creating statistical visualizations is simple and effective. That is why it gained popularity. Guys, in Seaborn library, there are some built-in data sets. Built-in data sets are nothing but data sets that are already present in Seaborn. So by using these data sets, we can practice data visualization. So at first, I will explain simple Python program in order to check various built-in data sets that are available in Seaborn. So this is program. It first write import Seaborn as SNS. Guys, where as stands for alias name. So for this Seaborn library, I am giving short name as SNS. So it first I written import Seaborn as SNS. And next you can take any variable name. I am taking variable name that is names is equal to SNS, which is this library name dot get underscore data set underscore names. Guys, by using get dataset names function, you can identify various datasets that are available in Seaborn. So my datasets are stored in variable names. So write print names. Whenever you run this program, this is my output. It will display all built-in datasets that are available in Seaborn. These are various datasets. Guys, now in our programs, we will use this dataset that is tips dataset and we will perform data visualization. Guys, now I will explain one more program in order to identify complete data which is present in tips data set. Guys, this uh, tips data set contains complete information about restaurant tips. Now we will check information present in this tips data set. This is program. At first write import C1 as SNS, where this SNS is short name to the C1 library. And next I am taking variable A equal to library name that is SNS dot load underscore data set. And my data set name is tips data set. So include tips in quotations. Guys in Seaborn, by using load underscore data set function, we can load any data set. And my data set is stored in variable A. So whenever you write here print A, this is my output. It will display complete information which is present in tips data set. This is my output. Guys, total there are seven columns. They are total bill paid by customers, next tips given by customers, and next six smoker, day, time and size. Total there are 7 columns and total there are 244 rows in this tips data set. Guys, in this particular tips data set contain total 244 rows and 7 columns. This is my output. Guys, I will explain one more program. This time, I don't want to see this complete 244 rows. I want to see only first 5 rows. That is from index number 0 to index number 4. Total, I want to see only 5 rows. I will write program for this. Same like previous example. At first write import Seaborn as SNS and next I am taking variable A equal to SNS dot load data set and my data set name is tips. So include tips in quotations and next I am writing here a print. My data set is present in variable A. So write here A dot head function. Guys, this head function will display only first five rows. So this is my output. So index number 0, 1 row, index number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Total there are five rows. So head function will display only first five rows. Guys, if you observe this tips data set, I want to see how many males and how many females are present in the sixth column by using count plot. 
I will add program in order to check how many males and how many females are present on these 244 rows using count plot. This is program. Guys, I already said before we can use Seaborn along with matplotlib library. So I written here import matplotlib.pyplot as plt where this plt is short name. And next I am taking variable a equal to sns dot load dataset tips. I am loading dataset tips. And next I am writing here sns dot count to plot by using count to plot we can represent data in the form of bar graphs and i want to see how many male candidates and how many female candidates are present in six column so i'm writing x equal to column name that is six comma my data set is present in variable a so data is nothing but variable a is my data and for this count to plot i want to give title that is count of males and females in the tips data set by using this matplotlib title method we can give title and next by using this matplotlib show method we can see output so right here plt dot show so whenever you run this program this is my output by seeing this count plot we can clearly understand that male candidates are high when compared to female candidates so approximately 150 male candidates and next 90 female candidates in the sixth column this is how we draw count plot using seaborn next i'll explain one more program in order to count number of bills on particular day like how many bills restaurant got on sunday and how many bills restaurant got on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on. And I want to represent information using strip plot. So at first write import seaborn as sns and next write import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Where this sns is short name to this seaborn and plt is short name to this matplotlib library. And next I am taking variable a equal to sns.load dataset. My dataset name is tips. And next I want to draw strip plot. So write here sns which is library name dot strip plot inside strip plot i want to compare two columns one is day column and next one is total bill column so x equal to column name that is day and y equal to another column name that is total bill column comma my data set is present in variable a so i am taking data is equal to a and for the strip plot i want to give title as comparison of total bill based on day so by using matplotlib title method we can give title so i written here plt dot title inside this i given title and similarly by using matplotlib show function we can see output so i written here plt dot show whenever i run this program this is my output in days column total there are only four days they are thursday friday saturday and sunday on sunday some members paid 16 rupees 10 rupees 21 rupees and so on so it will represent information in the form of dots by seeing this strip plot we can easily identify that total there are highest bills on sunday and least bills on friday guys you can also represent this information in the form of scatter plot just in place of writing sns dot strip plot you need to write here you need to write sns dot scatter plot so whenever you write here sns dot scatter plot this is my output scatter plot will represent all points in single line so this is my output scatter plot will represent all points in single line so this is my output next i'll explain how to perform univariate distribution with this plot guys the name itself says univariate uni is nothing but only one so we will draw dist plot only by using single column univariate distribution refers to the distribution of a single variable single variable is nothing but single column the dist plot function in seaborn is used to visualize the univariate distribution of a data set by using this dist plot we can perform only univariate distribution and this dist plot is combination of both histogram plot and as well as kernel density estimate plot where this histogram plot will display output in the form of bar graphs and whereas kernel density estimate plot that is kde plot will represent output in the form of lines so this dist plot is combination of these both plots i'll give one simple program at first i written import seaborn as sns and next i written here import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt where this matplotlib is library and whereas this pyplot is separate module in this matplotlib library and next i am taking variable a equal to sns dot load data set i want to load data set that name is tips and i want to draw digital plot on this total bill column so i am writing sns dot digital plot of my data set is present in variable a so write here a of column name that is total bill in quotation and whereas this plt dot show will display output so this is my output as i already said before this plot is combination of histogram plot and kde plot whereas histogram plot will display output in the form of bar graph 
and whereas KDA plot will display output in the form of line. So this is combination of both. Guys, next I want to draw dist plot without using this histogram plot. So same program, just you need to write here comma hist is equal to false. This is program, same program. Just after writing SNS dot dist plot A of total bill, you need to write hist is equal to false. So it will not apply histogram plot. It will apply only KDE plot. So this is my output. And whereas if you apply KDE is equal to false, it will not draw KDE plot. It will just apply only histogram plot. So this is my output. This is simple program using this plot.